COVID season, honestly, just to improve as a person. So, like, I'm, wrestling always builds character, and I just think this year it'll make my character be better going into the year than it be college. Uh, my goal is definitely to um, be a leader of the team. I want to help out and make sure that everyone is doing what they're supposed to, pushing themselves as hard as they can, and get our team as far, um, hopefully win OCCs, and maybe even um, get a top ranking at districts. To win districts and go back to state. So definitely get back to state. That's got to be top priority. And then once I do that, hopefully, I want to get on the podium. I'd say my goals for the season are um, probably to be a more of a together teammate, get um, look more out of it as an individual, and look more towards the team. And it'd be a real goal of mine, uh, team goal of mine this year, to bring home an OCC title and uh, do what can't be done, most people might say. Paul Parker State uh, have a better record than say seventy five percent. What seventy five percent? Just to get better. Um, I don't really care about wins and losses, I just want to get any better. When we do visual, visualization uh, after most practices, that always helps. And then usually we need a floor match. I like to plug in that as well. Just put all the background noise out. Uh, I just tell myself I'm better than the person, or I train hard in order to beat the people that think they can beat me during season one. It's very tough, actually. I mean, some days I come home and I hate wrestling, some days I come home and I love it. It's more a way towards hating it. It's just like a grind. It's more of a lifestyle. So if you can train yourself to be mentally strong, then you'll succeed in the sport. I think the biggest thing is to work on letting things roll off your back and just kind of pushing through and not thinking too much. A lot of people try to keep the mental strength by thinking it's on. I think the biggest thing is just not to think. Uh, well, I had a coach that he um, really helped me with the mental side last year, and I think that was mainly the uh, reason why I had such a big improvement. So just things like how to manage a match, like what to do when you're down or up in certain situations. And then just how to approach stuff. So like don't think of cutting weight like, oh man, I gotta lose five pounds. Think that like, hey, I, I gotta lose five pounds, I gotta make the weight either way. I might as well have fun doing it and think that is so just how I approach everything. Um, I think I, what I do to raise my mental game, I've always been known to be a brawler because of my strength. And I think now um, training with people and knowing that I need to open myself up more a little bit instead of uh, forcing a move with my strength, uh, relax a little bit, um, look at it uh, zoomed out of the lens and just kind of see the match from afar and uh, see openings. So I feel like mentally um, I'm progress. For my mental side, I just kind of let my emotions flow. I don't like try to hold anything back, so I like, practice. So if I need to cry, I'll cry. Yeah. What I do to work on it, I just like, I just tell myself that like the payoff's going to be good. Just keep working. Keep you just got to go confidence. You got to do it. Tell yourself you're this good. You know? um, you shouldn't have to doubt yourself.